Hey guys, it's Sandro here, and today's video is a review of CarPray's new tire dressing, Dark Side. Now CarPro already has two tie dressings in the form of Pearl, which is a multi-purpose rubber, plastic and interior water-based dressing, as well as Blackout, which is a more dedicated long-term solvent-based tie coating that can also be used to coat other rubber and non-painted external trims. So as far as I can tell, the new dark side tire and rubber sealant would sit in between Pearl and Blackout, being a more durable solution than Pearl as a short-term tire dressing, but not quite as durable as Blackout as a long-term tire coating. CarPro claims dark side will last up to three months, that it leaves a satin finish, is highly hydrophobic and UV resistant, with a super quick and easy application that's self-cleaning and chemical resistant. Now CarPro sent me out a sample of Darkside to try out about a month ago and since then I've had the chance to try it out on a number of tyres to get a feel for it. So I then decided to put out this video to share what I've learnt about it in terms of its application, looks, feel, behaviour and potential durability. So let's get to it. Now I just want to quickly touch on prep here. Regardless of whether you're applying a tie sealant, trim dressing, or even a wax sealant or paint coating, you're always going to have a better experience applying it as well as better performance and longevity when that product is applied to a completely clean and bare stripped down surface. I'll try and add a link here to a video I did on preparing and dressing car tires for the best outcome, but in a nutshell, you'll get out of a product which you're willing to put into it and correct surface preparation is vital. The first area of assessment was the user experience. To help gauge and display how Darkside performs in many areas, I decided to test it alongside Pearl and Blackout. Now as far as applying it goes, Darkside has pretty much a standard tire dressing application. So there's nothing different you have to do here compared to almost any other dressing on the market. Just apply drizzle to a foam or microfiber applicator or even a brush and work it in well over the tie wall. Now the way I personally like to apply most dressings is to allow them to sit for at least half an hour and then use a cloth to level down any excess product. This creates a more matte to satin finish rather than a satin to gloss finish which I personally prefer. It also creates a more uniform finish that removes any streaks or high spots, but importantly eliminates tyre sling and tends to reduce dirt and road grime sticking to the tyre walls. If you prefer a slightly glossier finish, don't mind any streaks or a little tyre sling and dirt sticking, you certainly don't have to do a final wipe. Now in saying all of that, this is how I feel Darkside compares to Pearl and Blackout in terms of the user experience. As far as spreading it in, I think it's really nice and easy to apply. I'd say just as easy as Pearl, but maybe even a touch better, as it seems to self-level faster as you continue to work it in, as well as leave a slightly more uniform finish that needs less wiping to remove fewer streaks or high spots in the finish. Now compared to Blackout, it is much nicer to work with, which is expected being that Blackout is a more serious long-term coating that is a bit stickier, grippier, with a more time-consuming application. It's also important to note that with Blackout, you need to level it down straight after its application, as it flashes almost immediately, so you need to level down any streaks before that happens. Whereas with Darkside, you can remove any minor streaks hours or even days later, just like Pearl. All in all guys, I found Darkside to be pretty close to Pearl to apply, with just a little better and more rapid self-leveling capabilities. Now Pearl is a bit of a jack of all trades being very adaptable for use on almost any car trim, whereas I got the feeling that Darkside has really been more tuned towards rubber and tyres, which I think showed in the great user experience on tyres in particular. After the products were allowed to fully cure, the next area of assessment was evaluating the look of Darkside, as well as some durability assessments. Now as I mention all the time, I try and film these videos in a way that also lets you guys judge the results, so feel free to draw your own conclusions. 
But for me, based not only on this one tire in the footage, but also on a bunch of other car tires I've tried it on, Darkseid sits bang in the middle of Pearl and Blackout in terms of looks, though I would say it's a lot closer to Pearl overall. There's just no denying that Blackout does apply thicker and sets the darkest or blackest of the three, at least when you do that final wipe. The newer version of Blackout also has a touch more gloss than Darkseid, if that's something you prefer. Whereas Pearl would have the most matte finish here of the three, and as I just mentioned, Darkseid seems to sit in the middle, being a little darker than Pearl, but not quite as dark as Blackout, and having a bit more sheen than Pearl, but again, not quite as much as Blackout. Though once again guys, these are not huge differences. Now just to compare the looks when you don't level down the dressings, I did do another set of applications on this second tire. And what you'll see here once again is that Pearl and Darkseid look pretty similar, with both of them being darker and certainly much glossier if that's your thing. But I will say that Darkseid still does look a touch more shiny and darker than Pearl here as well. Also importantly, I got a little direct sunlight for this shot, which certainly helped display the contrast from the dressings a little better. You'll also see on this tire the remains of two applications of blackout on this tire that was applied about a year ago, which is interesting to see. Now, for a little short-term assessment on actual cars, I applied dark side on the front tires of this car when I first got it about a month ago and dressed the rear tires with pearl for a comparison. Now the car and tyres are certainly dirty, but hopefully you guys can still see that although a little diminished, Darkseid is still hanging in there on the front tyres, and this is after about 500 kilometres of driving through the rain and one car wash later. While on the rear tyres with Pearl, it's pretty much 100% gone, and that was the case after the second week during a maintenance wash. Now on my Alpha, I applied Darkseid on all four tyres about three weeks ago, averaging about three to 400 kilometres a week, once again in the wet. For you guys that don't know, we've had more rainfall here in Victoria over the last few months than I've ever seen in my life. This car on the wheels were washed a few days ago and Darkseid still looks pretty amazing three weeks on. I can tell you with 100% certainty that Pearl never lasts this long on this car, especially in the rain, so it's pretty impressive to see Darkseid hold up so well. I think it's also important to note that different dressings look different on different tyres and your environment and use of the car is greatly going to determine how long each dressing will actually last. For me, I'm going to say that at least at this early stage, I really like the way Darkseid looks. I wouldn't say it's glossy overall, but rather a beautiful rich satin sheen, a nice blackening effect with a great uniform finish that does seem to pop a touch more than Pearl. Now I love Pearl as a tie dressing, I think it's one of the all time greats, so liking Darkseid perhaps a touch more actually says a lot. And if Pearl has on average lasted one to two weeks in the wet, or maybe two to four weeks in dry weather, I would expect Darkseid to last at least three to four times longer, maybe up to six weeks in the wet, and who knows, potentially the three months claimed by CarPro in dry conditions. Next up was having a look at some water behaviour. Now, I'm not sure if I'm all that concerned about hydrophobic behaviour on tyre walls, but if it also helps with a little self-cleaning and dirt repellency, that's a great bonus. Going back to the shots with the white Corolla, it was clearly evident that the front tyres with dark side looked way cleaner and better than the rears with Pearl, but I guess that's also because Pearl had since diminished. The other anecdotal evidence I can provide is that the tyres on my Alpha look pretty clean since I applied dark side. But again, it's not something I'm going to say is rock solid proof. Now as we have a look at some water behaviour, what you will see is that dark side is in fact quite a hydrophobic tyre sealant with quick water sheeting and dramatic water bead contact angles. Now contrast that with Pearl and it's pretty evident that although it's still hydrophobic, Pearl certainly isn't in the same league of dark side, at least here on this tyre. Blackout, on the other hand, is extremely hydrophobic and I'd say perhaps even a touch more than Darkseid overall.
Now let's move on to the second tyre where the dressings are sitting much thicker and weren't leveled down. Here you'll see that pearl and dark side are both very hydrophobic and almost equally matched. So why is that? It's because pearl in this more abundant amount does in fact bead and sheet quite impressively. However, I don't think this is a good representation because most of that excess stressing can't effectively bond to the rubber. There's simply too much. So this increased hydrophobic behavior will be short-lived. Whereas even after dark side is leveled down to remove the excess, it still beads impressively, meaning that it isn't a false reading and a true representation of how it really performs. The last test in this review was a chemical resistance evaluation using Carpro Multi-X at a 1 to 5 dilution to help further predict potential durability. Just a quick apology here. I love filming outside. Natural light is really beautiful, but with the clouds moving in and out every second, some of the lighting isn't always the best on the tires, making it a touch difficult to see the results at times. Now, I'm gonna show you guys some testing on both tires and what you'll see more or less by the end is that Pearl did break down and diminish the most out of the three, while Dark Side was in the middle, certainly still affected and degraded by the end, but overall seemed to do quite well. Whereas Blackout was barely affected and almost seemed to laugh at every chemical hit, resisting it extraordinarily well. So while you guys have a look at this footage, I'll just wrap up this video with my own personal conclusions. In so many ways, from its application to its looks and feel, Dark Side seems really close to Pearl. It's almost like a more hydrophobic and durable version of Pearl, with perhaps just a touch more darkness and sheen, and I don't think that's by pure accident. I would guess that with Pearl being so popular and such a successful car pro, with the only real criticism of it being that it's short-lived on car tyres, CarPro did perhaps set out to make a more durable version of it or at least use Pearl as their inspiration here. Now I would guess that Darkside is solvent rather than water-based like Pearl simply for the fact that it's near impossible to have so much active ingredient and what seems to be a thickly applying dressing in a water-based formula, though I could be wrong. But in saying that, it doesn't look, feel or apply like many of the past greasy solvent-based dressings I used to use. It feels and looks like a water-based dressing in almost every way. So that in itself seems like quite an achievement. A lot of times when I test products, I'm just not sure how I really feel about them or if I really have much of an opinion either way. They may not be bad or particularly good, so they end up becoming a little forgetful and lost in a sea of new detailing products. But with Darkseid, I just immediately liked it from the first application in the way it was nice to work with, how it looked, how it behaved, and so far, how it's held up. Look guys, I can't say there's something particularly amazing or innovative with this new tyre sealant, but I can say I'm a little drawn to it. I think CarPro did an excellent job here, and if you're a fan of Pearl and just wished it would last a little longer and maybe keep the tyres looking a little cleaner, Darkseid seems to be the answer. I think I'll leave it there guys, and if you enjoyed this video and would like to say thanks and help support future content, you can do so by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash ccad in which I'll have a link to in the description box where you can now hit the thanks button below the video and thank you everyone for the support so far. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. Please share it with others, give it a like and comment below to show your support for this content and I'll see you guys soon.